a question that was asked is about the situation where we have some parameters A and B, and depending on their value or their relation, the system might have no solution, one solution, or infinitely many. So the question goes, under what conditions on A and B, which are parameters, will the following system have no solution, exactly one solution, or infinitely many solutions? So here's the system, two equations, two unknowns, I write the augmented matrix, and I could divide by 2 to get my leading entry as 1, but that's not that smart at this point. I could simply eliminate the entry below using the elementary operation here, row 2 replaced by row 2 minus 2 times row 1, and this is what I get. So now this immediately sets my sensors on because I have a row of zeros slash something on the other side. So now, depending on the what is on the other side, things will develop differently. So if this expression here is different from zero, let's say it's six, so A and B are such that this expression here, the value is six, then I have the second equation saying zero times x1 plus zero times x2, which is zero, is equal to six. Well, that's not true. In that case, I will not have no solution at all. So if this expression here is different from zero, the system doesn't have any solutions. So I need to be careful about it. So let's take advantage of this observation. So the first situation is when b minus 2a is different from zero, which means that b is different from 2a. In that case, well, the system is this with some number here different from zero. Okay, the number is different from zero. So this tells me, okay, I have row of zeros slash something different from zero. That's no good. There's a contradiction in the system if that happens. So this system will not have any solutions. So this is the case of no solution because the system is inconsistent. So when B is different from 2A, the system has no solution at all. Okay, good. So what happens if when B is equal to 2A, what happens? Well, this is my system now. B equal to 2A, the right hand side becomes zero in the second equation. Good. Okay, fine. So with this, I can proceed because there's no contradiction at all because I have zero on the other side. So let's produce one as my leading entry, I have it, so this is a reduced tension form now, so I stop my procedure. From here, I can write the equation, and I say, ah, but x is actually this expression, a over 2 plus 3 over 2 times y, and y is a free variable. So, a general solution in the case where b is equal to 2a is given here. Expression for x is given, and y is still y, y is free variable. So because y is free variable, we have the system with infinitely many solutions. Fantastic. So we had two options, b different from 2a, in which case, as we see here, if b is different from 2a, then the system has no solution at all, because we produce a contradiction. If b is equal to 2a, then through this process, we see that the system has infinitely many of solutions. And one important observation is that the system cannot have exactly one solution. Okay? There's no other possibility. Either B is equal to 2A or is not equal to 2A. If it is equal, then we have infinitely many solutions. If B is different from 2A, then we have no solution. Okay? So, those are the only two options either no solution or infinitely many. So that means our system cannot have a configuration where we have exactly one solution. So that's important because the question is when can we have one solution, no solution or infinitely many? Well, we cannot have one solution ever. If we have B equal to A, we have infinitely many solutions. And if B is different from 2A, then system has no solution.